Hey everybody, Briar here, and welcome back to more Absolob, where we just discovered that maybe we're a skin graft of a dog. Fuck if I know. We're gonna go down to the basement one. We finished linking up the medical labs to, um, to Henrik, and Henrik divulged to us that we're some sort of freaky deaky skin graft monster lady. And that dog likes us, apparently. So it's hard to tell if this dog is actually coming after us maliciously or benevolently. There's no telling. Not yet, at least. He seemed like a good boy. The one time he was just sniffing in the elevator and he kind of just whined, right? That was all we really had to put up with for him. He's a good boy. I think. Who knows? Long ass elevator. So yeah, now we're going back to Henrik to talk to him because he says he'll answer any questions we've got. Basement one waste disposal. Basement one waste disposal. I gotta remember exactly how we get to Henry. Cool. Waste disposal. I'm glad this happened. Have I been here? Seems familiar. Hey! I know where we are. Oh, it was all poopy water before. We can turn that off. Ooh, the frame rates. Why? What happened to you, frames? Did that voice come from the stone or from something else? You heard that voice, right? I don't fully remember that. Aha! We're back here. Perfect. You're here. So far, you've met my- You said you'd answer my questions. Yeah. Fine. Ask away. Yeah. I don't know where to start. What is this place? What I built this. Spent years of mortal life toiling away at plans, scraping together resources and favors to turn this into reality. A place to research the things thought to be myth and superstition. A place to research the Absalom, the last divine artifact left in Midgard. You've already seen it, on your way down. That statue, upstairs? At first, we used ancient knowledge and combined it with Boar Corp technology to open rifts between worlds. We made enormous progress, discovered new worlds and unimaginable technologies. But some unwanted things came back with us, entering our world. And now everything is just falling apart. I'm trapped down here and we have lost control of the entire facility. The only way to stop the world from falling into chaos is to collect nine keys and insert them into the Absalom. The artifact acts as the gate, and the keys will keep Midgard from being littered with the roots spreading across the surface. And unless we stop it, our existence and that of all living things will become endless torment. How... how do you know where the keys are? Yeah, Years bitch. of research alone and with my associates, scouring through endless texts of the Nine Worlds. Who is Alice? Enough questions! You have the key! Order must be restored to the realms of Yggdrasil, and the evils from beyond must be locked out! Insert this key into the Absalom and remember what I've taught you. Do that, and you will succeed. Now get out of here! Go! Fuck you. So, I'm gonna be real honest here. I just now realized he's wearing kind of like a little sweater. I'm gonna do that, like a little sweater vest. Um, I thought he was, like, naked and wearing, like, a jacket that looked like it was made out of skin the whole time. I mean, come on. Up until now, you thought it, too. You thought he was naked under that jacket, right? <clears throat> yeah, clear your throat. Another, another thing. I was looking at these pictures, and I can't help but be curious if these are, like, the developer, maybe the developer's wife, maybe they have a kid. I don't know. I think that's really cool. I love when games do that. And, I mean, you find their pictures everywhere. He's so handsome. What does that say? What does that say? Some Swedish stuff? I can't read that. I'm no Swiss. Give me that skull, bitch. Fuck you, getting through and shit. God damn it, what the fuck was that? What did you do? <laughs> what did you throw at me? A pillow. Why would you do this? Because I love you. Where the fuck am I going now? Oh yeah, we're going back to the Absalom. I remember. This is not the right direction, shit. 
I'm all frazzle basil now. All right, let's go. We're making progress. We're we're getting back to where we used to be. I remember where I left off. I got us all the way to the roots, and then I was like, "Fuck yeah, new world. Let's save it for another another day." Um, Absolute research. This one, I think. Maybe. I don't know. Soon. So what are you guys thinking? Do you guys have any ideas? I, th I thought this is... I don't know if this is the first time they've actually mentioned what the Absolov is or not. Because I, I have future knowledge. Not much future knowledge, but I don't want to like ruin anything. I like how the door changed color. This thing, uh... Absolute research. So we can actually insert the dude now, right? You'll have to excuse him. Don't abandon us. We have to find all the artifact keys as soon as possible. The next one is in another part of Nibelheim. On top of a tower of ice. A beacon of light. From the Absalom research room, you have to go through the east wing. The code to the gate is 3825. I repeat, 3825. Be careful, man. Three. Eight, two, five. <laughs> okay, so check this, right? So when when I was going to do the live stream of this on YouTube, I found out there was chapter selection, so I decided to, you know what, let's not do let's not do that. Let's not do chapter so let's not stream through Absolob, let's do something else. And so in my own time, I booted up and chap so I had chapters one, two, and three unlocked. I was like, cool, maybe chapter three will take us back, maybe around Thor's hammer. No, chapter three started right here, okay? And I was like, okay, well, where's chapter two? Chapter two started with us getting our arm ripped off. I had to play through a good hunk of the game all over again just to get to the last video I had uploaded. Silly shit, man, right? Like, what a huge gap between, between doodads. This is exactly where chapter 3 starts. So, we're making progress, my dudes. Let's touch this. I don't remember what exactly is after this point. I mean, maybe I do. It probably just needs to refresh my, my noggin here. Okay, so I tried- I don't- I, okay, never mind. I don't remember any of this. I- I tried getting through here. And I couldn't figure out what the hell to do, so maybe I'm in the world. Ah! Fuck me! I knew that was gonna happen, and it still fucking got me. Damn it. We suck. And then there's two dudes over here. I know this. Yeah, what's going on, my dudes? Can I zip zap you? Whoa! Two for one! First time I've killed them, I kind of feel bad now. Kind of wish I didn't do that. Do you think I can double up and kill the soul too? Oh, well, that doesn't make me feel comfortable with my life choices. Not even a little bit. I feel kind of bad. I bet I need to go through there. Okay. I feel kind of bad for that. I want to collect that skull though. How cool would it be to have a skull hat? I guess it'd be a skull cap, but made of top. Touch and okay, cool. So this is the farthest I've managed to get so far. No more one, two, three, four. You suck. No. I also discovered how these work. The closer you can get the rotating thing to the top, the better it is. Uh, I was about to say, after three times, it kind of gives it to you by default. And there was nothing down here but a collectible that I've already collected, so we don't have to worry about that. Cool. I think I know where to go now. We're, we're all set, my dudes. Whee. What was that? 
Oh, open locker. <laughs> Cute. Okay, nothing I can touch in there. Alright, so we're trying to find the next route to Idrisil, I believe. I don't know why the chapter wouldn't start us off like... Haha! Progress. Is there anything to find? Nothing there. Okay. Hello? I wish I had kind of like a little mini map or something. I don't hear anything, so I doubt there's anything in any of these doors. Doesn't look like it. Nope. Alright, cool beans. Oh. Oh. Well, this doesn't make me comfortable. So I guess those do make little bleepy noises. I wonder why they make such bizarre noises when you get close to them. I'm getting there. I want to see if we can find that route we're looking for real quick. Touch. This way? I don't like that. I can stop. <clears throat> Indeed, hello. Ah, we're so good at this game. Can't touch this now? Is there a dude in there? Oh, hello. I would love that. Thank you. Oh. I have to keep it charged. That's okay. No. No. Put it back. Oh. I'll end you. I have the power. I can do it. I have no idea what I'm looking for. What I'm headed towards. Am I even going the right way? I feel like there's a lot more to explore. But it is damn dark. I'll end you, sir. I have no issue doing it. There's got to be a secret back here, right? Or at least something to touch. Sir, could you not approach me anymore? Be a lot cooler if you didn't. I have no qualm with smacking you in the fucking noggin. Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, no. Oh, no. Steam overlay, no. dead. <laughs> Sorry, sir. I don't trust you. Already scanned! That was some sort of booby trap, man. Uh, I bet, if, I bet no matter what way I go, they both take me to, like, right there. Ooh, but what if there's a seat? What if there's a secret? What if there's a secret on the other side? Oh, yeah. hello. Cool. Well, I'm glad we did that. Is there anything down there? More, more naked, scary dudes.
right, not entirely too sure where we're headed towards, but we're gonna go ahead and end it here. Uh, this is officially the farthest I've gotten, so now we're back. You and me are on the same page. We're both just as lost as the other one is. So let me know what you guys think. I'll leave a like, comment, subscribe, anything like that. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Welcome back, you friends. What's going on, dudes? Finally, I bet you're wondering where this book's been, where I've been. I mean, I've been here, but only barely. So we're going to continue, finally. I'm taking the wonderful time out of my day to read you guys more spooky things. I remember exactly where we were, too. I just have to find where it is in this book. Maybe. God, everyone start, everyone's name starts with an A. Has everyone's name started with an A? Well, shit, it goes in alphabetical order. Alright, so, we last left off, we had just finished off with Astaroth. Some creepy dude riding a fucking, like a lion. Look at this. Look at that dude. That's Astaroth, okay? If you don't remember it, go back and watch the entire last video when we did this. You go find it. What's in one of them? But we're going to go ahead and continue now. Now we're on to Azizel. Here's this. Here's this. Bam, we did it. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. For Azizel, do you know the origin of the word scapegoat? Before it meant being the fall guy, it was part of an ancient Semitic ritual mentioned in Leviticus in which a goat was symbolically given all of the sins of the people and sent out into the wilderness as a sacrifice to the goat demons. The chief of the wild goat demons was Azizel. According to the book of Enoch, before he was the leader of the goat demons, Azizel was an angel who taught humankind how to make weapons and cosmetics, and was cast out of heaven because man used those skills to fight wars and seduce angels. Not unlike Prometheus, the titan who was punished for stealing the fire from man, Azizel's most terrible crime was revealing secrets that others then used against God. Before he collected the scapegoats, it seems Azizel's was uh, bleh, it seems Azizel was one. Because of his connection with the goats, creatures who later came to be closer associated with the devil, who is, in many ways, a scapegoat for many wrongs, demonologists made Azizel the official guardian of goats. For inspirational purposes, there are many situations that are no one's fault or faults of so many people that no one person should take the blame, but it's still important that we find one person to punish, whether that person truly deserved punishment or not. But when good things happen, by again, chance or con confluence, we don't spend as much time looking around for one person to reward, do we? Someone Google the word confluence for me so I don't have to figure out what it says. What is that word? For divination purposes, beware of looking for someone to blame in a situation in which no one person is responsible. Focus on fairness and offering e equal praise for success and blame for mistakes. So, don't don't go punishing everyone. Don't don't you know group everyone up if something bad happened. Don't group everyone together. That seems like a fair thing to me. Don't don't punish people who don't deserve to be punished. I'm trying to get these cards in order before I close the good box here. So we're done with Azizel. Now we're on. We're done with the A's. So now we're gonna go to Bail next time. Look at that old man. Look at him. He had like a little spider body and everything. Don't don't read up on it. We'll go over it in the next video. Let me know what you guys think. Do you have anything else you'd like me to read for you? Or are you guys totally fine with doing this? We're probably only like 5% of the way through. There's a lot of cards in here. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.